Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are at Google I.O. San Francisco, California. This is Android TV, which uh, we saw many rumors about, or just a few really, heading up into uh, the conference uh, here. Um, the device itself, it is a, a set-top box, you could argue, but it's it's really small. And it's very unassuming. It's, it's basically a black block um, with a, a modern form factor. I'm not going to turn it around because the cables are pretty stiff, but you have power, Ethernet, there's a USB plug here, HDMI, and that's it. Um, so the form factor itself is very unassuming. It's a very simple interface. Um, part of the motif for um, you know what they want Android TV to be. As far as what the experience is like, we'll pan out here and take a look at that and we'll go through a bit of a demo of everything. Um, this is basically one of the main screens here um, with this and I'm using a uh, regular game controller here to kind of take you through the whole uh, user experience. Um, it's obviously tied into uh, Google Now um, so you can uh, click to search. Um, it'll respond to voice commands. Um, you can pick through the various movies through the Google Play Store. Um, obviously there's a number of apps available. Um, plenty of them are recognizable so if you want to listen to audio off of TuneIn Radio, get movies off of uh, Netflix, uh, grab stuff out of the uh, Play Store, um, watch videos from TED which always have some great content, um, or veg out watching some YouTube, you can gather all that. There's also a number of games available for uh, Android TV. Um, we're kind of keeping the noise down on the TV because uh, it's been getting a little loud in here, so uh, uh, we're going to forego any loud game playing right now. Um, and then down into the settings, uh, there's any number of uh, setups and preferences that you can go to. Obviously, um, it is Wi Fi enabled, um, so if you do not have the ability to get any uh, hardwire internet connectivity to uh, your Android TV, you can connect it uh, using Wi Fi just the same way you would using uh, Chromecast. Uh, obviously, there's Ethernet connected. The display obviously uh, goes into uh, display settings, so here you can calibrate, get into various wallpapers, um, how you want it to daydream uh, when you're not using it. So it will uh, do, it's basically a more robust version of Chromecast. I'm actually looking forward to seeing this come out on the market. Google Cast, um, that should be familiar to uh, everyone. This is where you can uh, share data and uh, stream stuff off of uh, your uh, phone or laptop or your Chromebook. Uh, system sounds, apps, storage. Uh, didn't know a lot about storage here, but it calculates just like uh, your, your any Android phone. Um, so there's uh, plenty of uh, data on here. It looks like this thing comes resident with about, uh, I would say, 16 gigabytes of uh, storage overall. So you have a number of uh, you have a number of areas and sectors taken up um, by apps, pictures, video, whatever else may reside physically on the device. So you have 13 gigabytes of usable space. Some of that's taken up by the uh, system memory. Um, as far as what this whole thing is about, um, it is uh, running Android L um, or Android TV version L, so which is apropos, seeing as how they uh, gave us a peek at what Android L looks like for Nexus devices uh, coming down the run here. Um, system updates, and you can reset. It's it's basically it's a uh, you know it's like seeing a set top box with the Android form factor, which is not a bad thing. You can set a number of preferences about date and time, languages. Um, speech recognition, accessibility, even developer options. So this is uh, clearly meant to be something for which we will see a number of applications, a number of uh, options come through in terms of what we will be able to do with this when we tie it together with our mobile devices. Um, obviously remote access with the gamepad, which is what I'm using here, uh, Bluetooth accessories, and then you can set up personal preferences um, as well. As far as the um, user experience itself, it is exact, it's fast and fluid. It's, I would argue it's a little more crisp than what you might see on, say, like an Xbox One. Um, the uh, user experience in and of itself um, is just like Google Play. That's what I have to say. And the Google Play user experience is uh, outstanding in terms of uh, going through everything. This is probably the best show on TV for those that don't know. Um, so that's Android TV. It is not available yet, um, so this was a bit of a sneak peek. It will be available uh, later this year. Um, 
but we are looking forward to seeing this uh, hit the market. This will tie together with pretty much everything in your house, obviously your Android phone. Um, so if uh, you are heavily invested in the Android ecosystem, or even if you wanted something a little more robust than your Chromecast, this is probably a great way to go without necessarily having to invest um, uh, several hundred dollars in something uh, as robust as maybe an Xbox One um, or something like that. We have no idea what the pricing on this is going to be, but for a device this small and, and, and focused on entertainment while enabling game use, um, but at the same time being limited in other mechanics that those other devices have, like, you know, this doesn't have a DVD player or anything like that. The uh, reality is, is that we can expect a much lower price tag for this compared to some of the other entertainment centers that are available uh, on the market today, and that's a big plus, um, and that will certainly position Google well in getting it in the living room. Not to mention the fact that this is going to be something that is going to be available natively on uh, several manufactured TVs, particularly from uh, uh, Sony was on that list that they announced yesterday. So beginning with some of the flagship TVs later this year, and then beginning all of next year, you're going to see um, outfits, several of the Japanese manufacturers um, getting on board and in uh, integrating Android TV with their uh, uh, televisions that we'll be buying. And that means then you don't even need the set-top box to begin with. So um, that's something else worth waiting for as well. So that's a quick look at uh, Android TV here in Google I.O. 2014. Keep uh, checking back with us here at phonearena.com for more uh, from Google I.O., Android, the entire ecosystem. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon.